Hello everyone, this is the second part of our episode They Grew Up in Finland, featuring Azul and Panache. If you want to listen to the first part of the episode, check out our YouTube channel or Spotify account Radio Turku. But for now, here are some highlights of what happened in the previous episode. Enjoy the podcast! Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Azul, I'm st- supposedly studying IT. Yeah, my name is Panache. Uh... I make music and I host fashion shows here in Turku and throw, can I say parties? Yeah, parties, I throw parties. So you feel you feel more efficient when you speak Spanish? I feel like cursing is so much. Oh yeah, it's, it's, deal it's, r- it's a relief. It's like, mm-hmm. uh, I don't have to go to therapy. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my therapy. Yeah. And then with my brother, me and my brother, we grew up very, very, very close together. So we speak like all these languages like at the same time, you know. So okay, it's kind of like well. a dialect. So nobody can understand. We can talk shit about our family. We can talk shit about people who are around us. Da 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 da. We need to just talk about something secret, you know. No one's gonna ever understand because yeah. there's only like one or two words that's from one language and from another one. Like, yeah. Mm. Only child. Grew up only with my parents. Traveling. No family. Three words to define your childhood. I would say independent. Mm. It's always like so young, figure it out. Right. Not that ass, like so, as when figure did you, it out by when, yourself. So you you were born in Finland? Nicaragua. <laughs> okay, and you left from Nicaragua when? I don't know. One some months. Okay. Two, something like that. So and Nicaragua? Then Costa Rica. Costa Rica. <laughs> then we went to Venezuela. Okay. Then we went to Singapore. Okay. Then oh I learned God. English there. Consider. Oh, mind you, Finnish is my third language because my father didn't want to teach me Finnish because okay. it's a useless language because we're not going to live in Finland. Mm-mm-mm. And in the end, here. guess what happened? That's, <laughs> that's, that's something here. we hear so much yeah. with the Finns like, ah, why would you learn Finnish? It's, it's so useless. It's true, yeah. it's, yeah. except for here. I think, yeah. like, Finnish people, it's either they stay their whole life here and, like, very few move away mm. like actually move away and then when they move away they don't come yep so it's like two extremes okay it's not yeah. like oh let's, let's mix yeah but <laughs> no there is no but your like dad you came leave, you back leave, to yeah, yeah, right. finland yeah, in the true. end we were in sudan and then the civil war started oh Allah, my God. you were there for that I was that's there. wow so you have really a crazy life we were like evacuated it wasn't that Exciting. Yeah, but it yeah. wasn't that like bad dramatic. at the time. Yeah, but you still, like now. They had told my father, like, don't go out, stay home. Like, things are getting hectic. Right. But my mom wanted to go shopping. Hello. Like, and me too. So we went out and then, you know, on the streets. It's but crazy. I also had experience of that in Venezuela on carnivals. So I, like, know. If she says to run, you run. You don't ask questions. <laughs> oh my god. You don't ask why am I running? <laughs> I am running. <laughs> so, so there's actually kind of survival on both hands here. Yeah, right? yeah but now I lose on some. Uh, brr, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. bro it's not, well, it was bad. Uh, well, for yeah, it was I really bad. Yeah, 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 right. And then after that, we like, we had to live. Okay, yeah. and so Sudan, Sudan, Finland. Yeah, and then. Oh my god, what a crazy trip back home. Okay, yeah. and then your father never wanted to. <laughs> then my parents again. got divorced. And In Finland, just, it was just an easy yeah. And then it was just an easy country to like <laughs> stay, <laughs> at, stay, 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 take a break, <laughs> relax, oh no gosh. drama, no problem. Oh my god! Also, you ever heard gun shooting? I've yeah. seen like I've seen dead person people in like oh my god in Venezuela and then I'm like young and ugh. Has it had an effect on you? Shut my mouth. No. For real? Right. But like you know, you're somewhere in the hood and then somebody dies yeah. and then don't go out, don't go out. And I'm like, I wanna go 
seat. Like, I want to go see. Yeah, no, that's Maybe because you're a child. Yeah, well. Like, my mom didn't want to let me know, but, like, she has up. always let me not do whatever I want. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let's go. I then we went to see the body. Oh, my God. I think it's really hard to traumatize me. Yeah, I mean, when you have seen go a dead body, like, wow. Okay. But I, I'm a bit shocked, honestly. It's like, it's, it's bad, but it's a daily thing in Venezuela. Mm, 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 mm. You yeah, get did, used to it. Yeah, to hearing, kind of, oh, somebody died, somebody died, somebody it's died. It's crazy. Yeah, somebody got killed. Yep. Yeah. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah, how, how do you explain this to someone and you move in another country like, oh, in the previous one I was seeing that. I don't. You don't. Street, like you don't, it's you don't. Involved, you don't. You know, it. sometimes it's this. just better to avoid. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say anything. They might start thinking, oh, this one was weird, but, you know. Yeah, like, do you have problems? <laughs> that, like, yeah. oh, that's why you're laughing. Yeah, that exactly. Evil, exactly. evil tone. Why, that's why you're so, you're so yeah. loud. Yeah, no, I think comes the evil comes from the novelas. <laughs> <laughs> Not from yeah, that. Yeah, well, like, oh, yeah, that's why you're so <gasps> cynical about life and such. I mean, it can explain. <laughs> like, yeah, but you know, like, mm-hmm. I would be if, if she was to give, say, you know, yeah, so back where I used to live, I would see dead bodies. To a Finnish person, they're like, okay, why don't we just keep rolling and we leave this one behind? Because it'll explain, like, anything you do. For example, you know, when I was in school, I explained a very simple case of, like, getting on the bus and you hear the N-word dropped. And in my class, there was a couple of chicks, you know, who were like, what, that can't be true, nah, 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 nah. And I left school, you know, and then, like, I'm hearing at they thought I was lying about this whole really? thing. And this is like something simple. So now I want you to imagine on the extent that Azul is explaining where there's bullets, bodies, and barrages, and you got <laughs> you got yeah. Azul loud, very energetic, everything. They start <laughs> they start thinking some type of way, you know. So yeah. sometimes it's just better not to even explain it because they might not even understand. It, yeah, you know? that that's yeah. the point that uh, it's impossible sometimes that people realize what you have been through beforehand, mm-hmm. and you you don't know how much you want to offer to the others or keep for yourself. It must be a really difficult balance in a way, especially as I'd a also child. like to add though, but in Finland, you know, it's a they live in kind of like a bubble, you know. I mean, I don't even want to get like into this because personally I've been avoiding it. But you look at um, you look at what was happening in in Ukraine, for example. A lot of Finnish people I know, not only even not only even Finnish people, a lot of um, people here in general who have been in Finland for a while. To them, they were like, ah, it's not my problem. I I, I don't even think it's that bad type of thing, you know. Because for them to never have even experienced something close to that, it's like. It sounds like a fairy tale, you know. I'm not going to speak on their part because I can't know for sure. But from what I've seen, no matter if it's black, Asian, wherever you are from, if you grew up here, you have been taught to, like, to believe a certain type of thing. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's harder for those type of events and things to make sense to somebody who has never been around the, the yeah, type of yeah. stuff, you know? And if you lived in a bubble, I mean, uh, at least for our generation, I think it was super hard to accept at the beginning that, wow, there is really a war. Yeah, in like what? It was what? crazy. It, uh, it's only in history book. And mm-hmm. then you're like, no, it really happens. The refugees are here. Yep. Like, it's really, at least for me, it was really like, wow. Yeah, we yeah, are definitely. living like the same of our grandparents. And at least yeah. this is the beginning. And it's I mean, to this day, it's like crazy, yes. you know. It's like crazy to think that like there's literally a war going on. Yeah. Yeah. And it could and go so like, close. you know, for so close yeah. to. Yeah. And I mean, I yeah, I, I, I don't wish for it, but it could come even closer. That's right? what I'm saying. This yeah. is what this is what really makes me start thinking like. Yeah. I mean, the, in in some newspaper, I think it was even the Time magazine lately mm. in America. The Time magazine is huge. Yeah, they kind of uh, leaked out some investigation they were com- conducting about our dear French uh, far right uh, person <laughs> who's <laughs> <laughs> who's linked to Putin and stuff. So, oh, so, I wonder so, who that's so, 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 so there's yeah, like this. But it's just like the shadow of war. Is, yeah, is kind of coming by. But hey, let's just okay. let's just keep on going to the club. Let's go to the club. Let's okay, go to the club. Let's, let's, let's have a light turn. Let's go to fashion show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go to fashion show yeah, yeah. and parties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, man, that's, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I have yeah. a question. Actually, I would be really curious in case you have thought about it a bit. It is: Do you have a Finnish model or a hero? Or yeah, hero? <gasps> Artist. Whoa. Do I have a, a Finnish role model hero? <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you say Panache is your 
hero? Or yeah, of no, course no, it I, is. I, I know she said that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Sponsored here. Yeah. By I paid her before this. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't. No. I'm, Both of you. Like, like. Or f favorite Finnish no. actress, singer, no. outside of Panache? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Panache has surpassed yeah, all, pass all of them. Yeah, I'll pass all of them. Nobody yeah. For you. Yeah. I, I barely see any like TV. Mm. No, but it doesn't need to be a f like a famous I person. I don't listen to Finnish music. Like, I, yeah, let's say I know the most popular songs. I don't know who's singing it. I have no interest of like figuring out. I'm not there. Uh, but like, uh, it's mostly on like every level. It's not just Finland. Yeah. Like, okay. Not digging who's an artist, who is this? Like people have like so much passion. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. I simply don't. <laughs> but uh, you see, you're saying Careless. as a joke, uh, like uh, panache. But at the same time, for me, like um, so, we've been both to the Ashoka context. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out Ashoka. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, was like when I went there, I was like, it's so cool to see people who are creating so many projects, mm. and I was like, wow, they are really like super interesting persons in Finland and. It's just like because I don't speak Finnish, I miss all this info, and yeah. I was super sad about it. I was like, "Oh, I would like to know the language to understand all the creations that are going on in Finland at the moment." I'll tell you, even if you knew the language, that type of information, for example, my award, you wouldn't have heard about it either ways. It's not something that really matters in Finnish society, you know. Just the the cold hard truth. They have their things that matter to them, which is why, for example, I could not care less about having a Finnish role model or Finnish model to look up to. Because to put it simply, like there's nobody I, I can think of that even comes to mind or close to even my mind that I could say, yeah, you know, this person did whatever they did because they were trying to, I don't know, save children or something like this. You know, to me, I'll always look at it like any type of Finnish role model I'm supposed to have. It's all about money, you know, at the end of okay. the day. It's all about cash and you know, money talks. That's like the basic, basic ideal that's around here. In you know? Finland? Well, from what I've seen, okay. yeah. I mean, think about it. Things are expensive. It's hard to make money. So who, who really is going to put in the time to be trying to help other people to an extent where you can look up to them, you know? Most kids, they look up to TikTokers. They look up to musicians. They look up to people who, who be screaming on the, at the camera in front of their room or something like this. So... For me to have somebody even in my, close to my generation who I look up to, I would be the fool to the after to have somebody like that, you know. And it's not only here. In Zimbabwe, I don't have anybody that I look up to okay. in any country, you know. If there's somebody I look up to, it would be my mother, you know. Somebody who has actually done something for me, taught me something, brought me up to be a certain type of individual. But any of these people online or these so-called successful famous people what they've done for me you know but that's what i mean it doesn't have to be someone who is uh, renowned etc like in my case when i came to finland uh, actually they they came in the last episode they are uh, some girls in my sport club mm. they are younger than me and they are so determined with the sport and me i was really shy as a girl in sport uh, etc and i see them going all the every day to the dojo and training and beating right, up right. everyone and I'm like wow they are champions and they win medals etc mm. and I was like I was missing female champion mm. a bit and when I arrived to Finland and one of the questions I prepared for last week episode was do you have issue being a woman in your spot they were like no. <laughs> <laughs> and really I was like okay I will remove that question because it was really no I beat up guys <laughs> I thought yeah, it was so yeah. cool like we are so badass every yeah. time I train with them and like I would like to be like them they're so cool but I think like like in your case, like this was more to be inspired by yeah, somebody yeah. or to see somebody as like, damn, they're really doing something cool. And like, you know, I would love to be able to do something. I have people like that. Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you. Like there's a bunch I could, that comes to mind, you know, uh, in Finland, per se, not really. <laughs> but, you know, musicians usually are the ones that are like inspire me. Yeah. But I still wouldn't look at guys who are going to do some crazy things like, you know, you know how, how the world is nowadays. People do a lot of bad stuff, you know, so. But what I'll, about the musicians yeah, in not, Finland? Not even we, Finnish musicians. In Finland? Yeah. You? Yeah. Uh, musicians in general, I would definitely say. 
Yeah, I lied. I lied. I lied. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> in, in Finland, in Finland, I cannot think of any. But uh, when we're talking worldwide, I don't know if you guys would know many of them. But um, there's, for example, Cardi. You know, Playboy Cardi is a musician who's coming from like around the time when I was going into my teenage years. So I kind of saw like what he was doing from a young age. And then there's also another musician called Chief Keef. You know, these are like the type of people that you would not hear about because you know. They're on a whole nother like uh, a field than mm. what's considered normal. You know what I mean? But still, the fact that these guys were able to do some really cool stuff at their age without much support or anything like this, it's very impressive. Very, very impressive. You what know? do you think of Finnish rap? Finnish rap? <laughs> I think that um, the music music scene in Finland in general is just, it's very biased and very controlled, you know? And when it comes to the Finnish rappers, I think like, they take notes from each other, you know. I think, like, you have one Finnish rapper here, he sees what he did, he's like, all right, you know what, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. And da, da, da. There's not much creativity here. I mm -hmm. think that generation died, like, quite a while, a while back, you know. Mm. That's why I love Kari. I think he was so random. <laughs> like, yeah. Everything you know, was so characteristic and, okay, I have my own style, I don't care. Right, right. right. Yeah, but I'm a bit afraid that he was like that by the time he was not super famous, I'm a bit afraid that now he's got super famous, it it could slowly change to, yeah, to something. Well, I will tell you, I had, a, I had a gig with Karia. I was, we were one of his warm-ups in, oh my yeah. in Bruce Rock of 20, I don't remember, the one before uh, this Euro 2022, so 2022, so, and before the Eurovisions. So he was performing uh, last, and when he was performing, I was like, this guy is crazy, he looks you know. Completely he crazy. was like, he was just, you know, he was really cool, you know, he was like, he was really passionate about his music, everything, da 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 And then I kind of like for, totally forgot about it. And then this time somebody told me, they were like, yeah, Gaddy has this up and coming musician here. He's <laughs> making some like, some like techno rap, ho house rap. I don't even know how you explain it. Yeah. So, so still no Finnish music at all? No Finnish role model. No, uh, no, 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 I'm not Finnish. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I'm not mm, hating mm, here. Mm, mm, we mm. will keep Panache then for you. I forgot. Exactly. Yes, Panache exactly. number exactly. one. Well yeah, done. I paid well you done. before this. Mm. Okay. <laughs> soap yeah. opera. Is there Finnish yeah. soap operas? The, the Salapotela. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, so like, you, do, you do know the name, so maybe you... I had this one friend. <laughs> this one you keep on telling you about it, like <laughs> that like we used to play every day she, like we were neighbors and then every day at around like eight nine i don't remember what time did it start she would leave me to go see that show <laughs> <laughs> Like what? Oh, maybe that's why you like, became to, to to hate Do everything coming on Finnish TV. Maybe like it's possible. Her fault. <laughs> maybe it's her fault. <laughs> maybe it's her fault. Very some grudge there. Yeah. Like I have to see what's going on. The origin story. <laughs> like, I just knew that it was like over a thousand episodes, something like that, and <gasps> oh it has been God. for like so many years. Okay. And then I saw like a few episodes. So I was trying to blend in. <laughs> Camouflage. I will like, never integrate. <laughs> There's nothing mm. happening here. Yeah, this is why I and don't feel finished. And it's so <laughs> slow. Okay, no hate or anything. Maybe they have mm. something. I just didn't get the point because, like in, like Latin soap operas, they're He's so alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you do? Yeah, and it gets so you messed up. Hair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. And like in Venezuela, there's this novella culture. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, they, they start at like 12 or like 1 and it's like an hour until right. like 9 and the last one like ends at 10 p.m. So you have like a novella for like every hour and they always leave the best one at 9. Oh. And they're so, it's great. And there's the killing and then there's love and <laughs> always <passion> and always. <laughs> shitting yes. and then the evil wins. Yes, la patron. <laughs> la patrona. Ah. <laughs> the Finnish standards <laughs> were not high enough for you. They were. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm too problematic and too dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that leads us to our last question. Yeah. How would you define being Finnish? I think we can also give a definition yeah. <laughs> from what we have what, perceived. What does it m mean to be Finnish? I, from what we have said, respecting the rules. For me, it was a big part of mm. being Finnish. 
Now that I'm here, I stop at the red light. I mean, like, <laughs> I feel I, when I arrive in France, every time I stop and I'm, people are watching me because it's, you look stupid in France yeah. when you don't cross at the red light. Like, <laughs> every time they are judging me and we are... Yeah, like you mean in order to blend in? Yeah, because at yeah. some point you're like, everyone is respecting the rules. I would respect them also yep. because everything works so smoothly yep. when people respect the rules. I'm so happy that there are no pickpockets. In France, I have this. Like OCD, that I'm yeah. always touching my Yeah, you always check it if it's still there. Because there are always pickpockets around, yeah. and here you can trust people, etc. I love it. Uh, so for me, being Finnish is respecting the rules, but that's also an issue for me as a French person. Yeah. <laughs> because we and lie also to cheat. Like, like, like what happened when I came back to, to, to Finland from my holiday, like a couple of days ago, I was expecting to come back here and to have a general strike, because mm. when I left in December, Uh, people were talking about the general strike in Finland because of the political perso yeah, thing. Yeah. And uh, where is the, the strike right now? <laughs> I, I, I still don't see it. It lasts so. a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, but yeah I, I, I feel you because I think that I have might become too Finnish also. Yeah. Because I've got a, I had a problem last year when I visited Portugal. Um, you know, here I'm very used to go to Keria Kahvila all the time, this cool cafe. Yeah. And uh, and you know there is this kind of Finnish place when you can just uh, be comfortable and take off your shoes if you want and and go around and yeah. be okay and such. And then one year ago <laughs> I visited Portugal. They were like what the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah, I visited <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> I was there for for three weeks, so I kind of had my habit to go to this coffee, and yeah. I got too comfortable, <laughs> and I started to take off my shoes oh my and, and, and and act as I would act in a Finnish coffee and. Uh, Yeah, the, the the coffee owner came to me and like, man, hey brother, please leave. And and I was like, but please I, leave. <laughs> no, he asked me to he leave. He asked me to leave. Yeah, <laughs> so like, he thought I was some old hobo or something. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and I was like, oh fuck, what, what has Finland done to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but what okay. about you? Do you? I would say it? that um, being Finnish to me being means. Being quite proud of being Finnish, you know. Yeah, true. As it like fin being Finnish is a privilege, you know. That's what that's what it, it's that's what it's become to me, you know. That I should be very very happy that I'm able to say that I'm Finnish, you know. And I think that has had a lot of part to play in my life. Like as I have been growing up, there's a lot of things that has changed, you know. For example, I used to hate having to go to a meeting, right, and then like. Or I'm like in a in a in a in a store or something like this, and my dad would tell me, "Take your hat off." And you know, I have African hair, so if I take my hat off, it's gonna keep that shape. And now I have to look like a clown. And you know, why did I have to do this? And as I got more and more like integrated into being Finnish, I started realizing that you know, I'm actually lucky that I'm able to be here and to be able to say that I'm Finnish. So let me actually respect the rules. Let me, let me, even if it might not be like a rule that I'll get a ticket or something, this is an unspoken rule that I shouldn't have my beanie on when I'm around Finnish people because they don't like that. So I'm like, okay, let me do it. Taking off the shoes, you know. And even the food, I didn't like the food at first. And I was like, bro, you should be just be glad that you can even be in this situation where you can eat this food, you know. So I became, for an extent, to an extent, like a, Like a proud Finnish person, <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Yeah. There is very, very uh, really Thank ambiguous uh, yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I, I always tell my friends, you know, I have a very weird relationship with Finland. You know, it's a very strange relationship because other countries I haven't had to change as much as I have had to, as a, like here, you know. But yeah, that's what I would say is given to me. Okay. Yeah, it's true that something i that is a bit sad in France is that if you say I love France, it's a bit like... It's a little like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We are not entitled to, to say that uh, we like France. We are not like... Uh, in, in, in Finland, you see the Finnish flag everywhere. Yeah, yeah, For me, it's yeah. so shocking. In France, in France, in France the guy who has the see. French flag, it's like the, yeah. the mm -mm of the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, honestly, yeah. You, can, you won't see the French flag apart from... On the, the, the weird the, the neighbor town, in the, the countryside. Hall. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, we that's we cool. even be raising that flag on the days of the yeah, holiday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you even dress with the color. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, look at me. I'm so proud of my <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, man. 
proud yeah, pin right here. I, I was <laughs> so surprised by this when I arrived. I was like, wow, I've, I've never thought I'm proud of my country because France is doing so much shit at the moment. Right, right. I'm like, I'm French. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know exactly so. how you feel. <laughs> But what about you at all? Mm. <laughs> uh, Being Finnish um, is... Well, continuing with the same subject, especially when you go abroad. Finnish people love Finland. Yeah. <laughs> It's on another level. I'm from Finland. No, perkele. me. Finland has been mentioned here. <laughs> like, they're so pat- patriotic. Like, we mm. were in Ponhirola and we're with my friends. Like, none of us look Finnish, of course. But we're all speaking Finnish. So people don't understand, you know? Yes, they do. <laughs> all the Finnish community is there. Yep. So you have menus in Finnish and you always have your Finnish bar. Yep. And it doesn't matter how many other great bars are there, they're <laughs> going to the Finnish bar, <laughs> which is so interesting. There's even, there's even in Indonesia, there's um Finns Beach Club, you know? They have their own What? beach What? club. What? Yeah, it's crazy. So they like, can stay in the bubble. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Even there, it's And lit. And stay silent <laughs> with the cocktail. <laughs> like, there was a bar in Canarias with like carho with the beer carho. Oh, yes. oh my god. Yeah, but straight from the fucking <coughs> Finland don't be playing, bro. And with the flex and everything. <laughs> and okay. the so it's like the and the <laughs> you open the door, you're like in Toimist. <laughs> it's the same vibe. Okay. You really? can go back to your roots even if you're abroad. Damn. Yeah, but I think it's I think great. it's very particular about Canaria. I think it's soon going to be annexed to Finland. No. This country. Canaria. Canary Island. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> He was like, oh. No, I'm so naive. <laughs> like, like, I think <laughs> the amount of Finnish people living in Canary Island uh, now is it's, it's, crazy? it's enormous. They even I have like it's a Finnish town, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't they have Finnish schools even now? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. They What? have like Oh my god. For and church and uh, like elderly a mini people. Colony. Old people house. Oh uh, yeah. What's that mean? But it makes a lot of sense because staying year around here is pretty difficult. It's very difficult. So I'd say for a lot of Finnish people, now that they are building a community in a warm and nice country, like you know, it just makes sense. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Actually my father's mother used to live for like six months, always in winter. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the, in the States, they also had their community because, mind you, she didn't speak any English yep. or anything. Only Finnish, so it was <gasps> enough to oh survive God. for half a year. Yep. I'm like, I'm not going to deal with this lovely winter. Man, because we why love would snow. they? It just makes a lot of sense. I would go there too, shit. Yeah, I cannot blame them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm even jealous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> like, book me a ticket, man. And then at some point, you end up just going to those bars. Like, I was... Your dream. When I was 18, I went with my friend for too long two months and yeah the other clubs were nice <laughs> but like at some point let's just go to the finish <laughs> oh, yeah. great. Go back home. Yeah, I, i just love it how we are uh, i mean it happened in other episodes here we we like to to throw shit at finland during the whole episode and in the end we're like yeah but in the end uh, it's still nice it's to go back to yeah. <laughs> some good old finnish bar and uh, yeah That's shout out finland, another, yeah. Yeah. finland is lit as hell bro I love another it. thing that It's admirable. I'm not a huge nature person, but like Finnish people do protect a lot. Yeah, yeah. Nature, and yeah. they love being in nature. For sure. Like, like yeah, yeah. I mean, that's something I, I loved when I moved here. Like you can, you, you even when you're center of a one of the biggest city in Finland, which mm. is Turku, mm. which is still pretty small to my standards. <laughs> yes. well, you yeah. don't have to walk a lot outside of the city center to be in nature. No, no. Well, so there's, nice. a, there's a forest literally yeah, in the yeah, middle yeah, of it. Yeah. It's crazy. You don't even know it. if the city is in the forest <laughs> or the forest is in the city. It's like, yeah. 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 In some countries, that's basically the luxury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have Definitely. so much green areas. Mm. Rich people place. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and the true. parents bring the kids all the time. I think it's so nice to have all the families going and... Uh, I, I was thinking that one thing that I love about being Finnish is accepting silence. Mm. In French, it's forbidden to be silent. Like in a conversation, it's, yeah. it's like the most awkward thing that this is awkward. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, really, right. even two seconds of silence, it's like, uh, do we talk okay. about something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and in Finland, it's like, okay, we have nothing to discuss. And the stop. best is, is like with your friends or with your best friend. Like, I love how much it's normal here to just have a beer with your best friend and like, Nah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've I've had a millions of those moments. I just be like, oh yeah, yeah, just another day. Yeah, and it's cool. Like no need to Complete fill silence. in the blank. Uh, 
in France it's really like you are pressured to say something. I don't know if it's Does the it same. Does it make you uncomfortable? The no, no, silence? it's the same. It's the same. Back home, like, when there's awkward silence, someone will be like, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, just to feel that little space. Cause, and even here, the first time it happened, I was like, yo, somebody's going to say something? Like, but nothing. Everybody's just cool with it, you know, complete silence. Yeah, and I like. Mm. I like too. Very nice. One, one last <laughs> aspect of it. being Finnish, <laughs> or do we go directly to the song recommendation? Because we are starting a playlist for Radio Turku and we will ask all our guests okay. to recommend some songs. Maybe not Finnish, then <laughs> I mm. don't know if that page. I have a Finnish song. Please it's share right it with us. What's the title? That wasn't my like, first. I had. I, I'm going to put three. 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 Let's go. You can choose yeah. the best one. My favorite Spanish song of all the time. Rap. The only rap I've old. Bad like, Bunny. No, 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 no. I'm old. You okay. know, Bad Bunny okay. uh, for the young children. <laughs> Atrévete. I will ask your Spanish speakers to translate to me. Yeah. Atrévete. Mm -hmm. Atrévete. Then the song I've been listening every time I get mad. Every day. <laughs> so you get mad every day, okay, yeah. Keep yeah, them up. Thing. Keep them up by Tupac. Okay. Ah, Tupac. Okay. It's great. You go to the shower. I don't it's even know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, this is hard. Yeah. My sentence. Oh, that's why I fucked your mom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look like a very big Tupac fan. I can see I it. Do. Yeah, I do. do. Yeah, she has the eyebrow, the eyebrow, eyebrow like everything. <laughs> yeah, that's and the Finnish one, Bingo. Uh, I do actually know the artist for once. Bingo. I what was. Wait, I don't. Let me. Let me Google this. Bingo. Levaton <laughs> Tuhkimo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Classic. Okay. Why? Because in sixth grade we had to play that on like a school something. It stuck on me. And then when I showed my father, he's like. How do you know this song? Mm. Mm. School well, daddy. Mm -hmm. They I actually teach us stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Way even better than expected. We have three languages there. What about you? Uh, yeah, you, you need one for me too? Yeah. Yourself. Yes, you can say, oh, I know this <laughs> young brother. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this dude, you know, he's crazy. Yeah, I mean, Let me actually give you a backstory on this guy. He's like, you know, I think his music is some of the hardest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> it's just, it's so, so good. You know, at, at the moment, I'm listening to it a lot. Um, this song, you know, it's just, it just makes me want to chase my dreams. It's called Ferrari Music by Cash Money P. Check it out. There's even a music video where he has a Ferrari. No. It's just... I mean, I have, no, I have no idea who's this guy. Yeah, I mean, either. You're going to put a link. Yeah, but uh, I've been waiting to meet him. But is it his own Ferrari? Or literally owns the Ferrari. No. You'd be no. shocked. You'd be shocked at the other stuff he's done. <laughs> this guy. He's mad. Yeah, okay. As you can see, I'm a big fan of him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for him to, you know, Dream release some. have a cosplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I decided to come here today. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to release some more music, but it seems like... Like, this guy's taking his time. You know? yeah, he's yeah. Busy. yeah, he's busy. He's busy he's doing exactly. Like, uh, okay. But yeah, Ferrari music, Cash Money P. Very good. I will put all the links. Yeah, I'm telling you, whenever video. you're gonna play that, somebody walking in, they're gonna be like, you can walk in here feeling like the man. I checked. I checked. Yep, yep, yep. So, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Yeah, thank you so much for and coming. And thank you for coming. <laughs> my pleasure. My pleasure. I hope we will see Azul very soon on the stage. Mm. And otherwise, in the meantime, you can go to fashion show, fashion listen show. to some oh, yeah. music yep, on yep. YouTube, Instagram, and, uh, yeah, everything. And hope, hopefully, Cash Money P is going to make a lot of uh, concerts, a lot of gigs. Yeah. Yep. I know his agent. I will send him ah, a message. Oh, <laughs> because we will be there. All right. Yeah. Ah, I think he's going to be very happy to hear that. <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> 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 yeah. But thank you guys yeah. and see you next time. Thank you so bye much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.